Blessed love, royal family. Honorable Priest Isaac here. I am inviting you to the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge Royal Business Webinar. It is about time, family, for us in the conscious space to motivate ourselves to become a more business-minded culture. Join us for three days, the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd day of December for a life-changing, I repeat, a life-changing experience. 3 p.m. each day, Radio Anu TV, YouTube, and Radio Anu International. For more information, visit our website, priestisaacinstitute.com or email us, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. The Royal Business Webinar. I will see you there. Yes, Royal Family, blessed love, give thanks for your presence with us. Of course, you know, we glorify the light giver, the keeper of life, Kodama, we highly Selassie the first. You're in the tiger's nest, honorable priest Isaac, here with you, just keeping the joy and keeping the vibes and the upful meditation for sure. And yes, as you would have seen for yourself, Royal Family, the Royal Business Webinar, it is at hand the 20th and the 21st and the 22nd day of December. This is at 3 p.m. each and every day. That's Eastern Caribbean time. So you would have to adjust yourself with the Eastern Caribbean time wherever you may be. So that's 3 p.m. Uh, uh, each of um, the three days. That's the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd day of December. The Royal Business Webinar, definitely considered to be what will be, I should say, a life-changing experience. Remember, this is a totally a free event. There is no charge. You don't have to get no link or anything at all. All you have to do is to be present at that time. And again, that's the Royal Business webinar life-changing experience definitely motivate yourself to becoming to become a more a business a mind that culture or motivate ourselves to become a more business-minded culture and again that's the 20th 21st and 22nd day of december so what we are asking you to do family is to just share the word and let a friend know that, hey, we got to check this one out. In fact, are you a part of any sort of company, group? Get your business partner. Uh, send them the link. Even if they're not into what you're into, this is for all of us. You understand? If you work with a group, if you yourself uh, are an employer and you have employees, well, you need to share the link with them and let them sit in for those three days, definitely. If you are looking to increase the standard of your business, uh, whether it's to, to double the, uh, the income or triple whatever the case is, whatever the income is now, there are certain steps, there are certain strategic measures that you can put in place that will double your income. 
tried and proven. You understand? So if you are looking for such, you should get your business partner, get your business associates, get your employers and your employees and tell them, hey, I want to share something with you. The 20th, the 21st and the 22nd day of December. Let us sit down around the computer, even together, so we can, you know, uh, take in what these people are offering. They promise that it will be a life-changing experience. And I know them well. They don't promise nothing they can't fulfill. <laughs> so family, make sure that you are in the house for that. And remember, on the 21st day of December, we're talking about officially premiering the 21st day of December. That's at, at 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. The Santa Claus Massacre. No mercy for the merciless. And even, even as we get into what we're going to get into now, you see why that attitude must be taken. I know a lot of ones really do not understand why it is that we, you know, deal with the Santa Claus massacre and the fairy tale holidays and nursery crimes in this manner. You know, you, you may think that we have been psychologically scarred or abused as, as, as a child from these fairy tale characters. Not necessarily, not more than anyone else, to be honest. It's nothing that I think would have affected us at all, really. But because we love all people so much and we understand the dangers of these nursery crimes and, and fairy tales and folly days and, and everything else that comes with it. And we can see the psychological damage that it does to our people. That is why we attack, as I said, no mercy for the merciless. Bugs money has no mercy for us. Big bird, as nice as you think they are, no mercy. Minnie Mouse, no mercy. Santa fraud, no mercy. Oh, Santa fraud, he got to be the leader of the bunch. And every year comes around talking about prostitute, prostitute, prostitute. We don't have no time to play for him. We don't have no time to be joking, huh? Prostitute, prostitute, prostitute. What are you talking Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hey, hey. I thought you understood that by now. Remember, there's a, the story of St. Nicholas with the three prostitutes? You never heard the story? Come on, man. And he gave them three bags of gold and took them away. When you give prostitutes gold and take them away, I mean, come on, you know the end of the story. Ho, ho, ho. And every every Christmas Eve, he coming around talking about ho, ho, ho. We think it is a joke having children sitting on his lap. Don't be playing around with this family. Yeah, I know, I know. It's Uncle, it's uncle, um, uncle Chester and, and, and your friend down the road in the Santa Claus costume. But that is just a continuation of a frequency that has already gone bad. That's my point. So we don't have no time to play. This is Odin you're dealing with, Santa Fraud, Odin. From the Norse mythology, Odin. You see, Santa Claus is not just Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas is the base. Saint Nicholas is the foundation, you know? Saint Nicholas is not Odin, you understand? Saint Nicholas is not um, Kronos. But Cronus and Odin and, and other aspects, other goblins, other gargoyles are mixed into the pot to create the fable character known as Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Father Winter, Kid Frost, all sorts of names given Buller class, talking about a bully. Buller class, with class. That's one of the names given to Santa Claus, you know before he became the Santa Claus Coca-Cola that you know today. Ho, ho, ho. You take the end from the middle of his name, Santa, and put it at the end, you get Satan. Ho, ho, ho. You see, this is why Jeremiah already warned you, warned you, you know, in Jeremiah chapter 10 it is study not or go not the way of the heathen. What do the heathen do? The heathen go into the forest and cut down a tree. That's the book of Jeremiah. 
with the axe and they come and they fasten it with nails and hammers and they deck it with silver and gold. Jeremiah, I mean, talk about as plain as the nose on your face. <laughs> you don't need no interpretation there. I don't have to explain what that means. It's as clear as crystal. Deck, deck it, deck the halls with balls of folly and tra la 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 la. Deck it, it says, with silver and gold, the book of Jeremiah. That's the Christmas tree. Pagan festival, cutting down the pine tree, the ever green pine tree, the ever living pine tree, symbolic of immortality. And come and bring it in the house and put the gifts under the tree. So when Leroy gets up in the morning, mm -hmm. And has to go for his gift. He has to go to this tree and bow down before the tree. And go and take out his gift. He was blessed by the tree. Talk about um, what they call it. Animism. Tree worship. So, so all of this is balled up into the whole pagan, heathen festival of the, 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 the Habmas. We call it because you gotta keep in mind, you know. Mess in the ancient comedic tradition, mess means to be born. Mess to be born, mess. And it's like the caress, the caress, the, the K R S D or the Q R S D. That's why Q R S and T follows each other in the alphabet. Q R S T. UV is the, the rays of the sun, the sun, the Christ, the charis, UV, the sun, charis, charismes, charismes, that's ancient comedic vibes, the, the Christ, the charismes is uh, Christmas, Christmas, you see. So there's a lot of brain scrubbing and whitewashing and manipulating to bring to a forefront what they have. Uh, in front of us even on a day like today. So then you have the character now, the Kronos. And I'm sure many of you would have come across Kronos. Now you gotta understand this is this is what has what is being given to us. What may appear to be uh, harmless and oh come on priest Santa Claus ain't doing nobody anything. He ain't real. And okay, so what? So why are we continually following this philosophy if it's not real? But, and we can see how de demonic it is. Why do we continue to follow it? It's like a religion. Yeah? Religion deals with the spirit world. This is a lot of spirit uh, uh, intoxication that we are taking in not just once a year, all the time, continually. So we are entertaining a character that kidnaps children. Come on, they have, this is not nothing the conscious community is making up. The European folklore says that this bullock class comes and throws children in his bag and carry them away. Eh, eh. We're not making this up, that's, that's what it is. So we want, we want us to believe that he has changed now. Listen. All you have to do is to look into the economics as it relates to the poor. Rastaman is the one that showed people you know, <laughs> that this bonus that they give you at the end of the year is robbery. It's robbery. Now there are 13 moons in every year. They're really 13 months. So this means now you work every week. Let's listen to these words, week. They know why they call it a week. They know why they call it days because you're left in a daze and they leave you weak. So every week you have a specific amount of money. I want you to listen to me good. Your paycheck is a specific amount every week. Some people work by the week. Some people get paid by the month. Now you see the trick with the month now is that remember every month is 30 days or 31 days. That's why we have 12 months in a year. But if every month was 28 days, four weeks, 
if every month was four weeks, we would have 13 months in the year. Now, keep in mind, you know, some people get paid every week. But some people get paid every month. But the month is not 28 days like February. The month is 30 or 31 days. That's why at the end of the month or the end of the year, you have this extra month. If it was 13 months, 28 days, just do the maths. So 28 days, 13 times is is around 365. <laughs> the point I'm making is that they rob you of a month when you get paid by the month. They owe you a month because the real month is not 30 and 31 days. So at the end of the year now, they try to pretend they're giving you a bonus. That's your money. And that same bonus, psychologically, you take this bonus and give it back to them because you got to buy a Christmas present for this person. You got to buy a Christmas present for that person. You got to buy a Christmas tree. You got to have a Christmas party. You got to have a New Year's party. You just got to spend a whole heap of money. I am not an enemy of presents at all. But I'm surely an enemy of this economic capitalistic system that is stifling our people as a part of the enslavement agenda. That is why Santa fraud teaming up with Coca-Cola is such an important character. Yeah, in their economic enslavement plot. But you see, many of us, we totally missed it. That, you see, so this is where the psychology becomes reality. And then there's another level because the children are being totally, totally, totally led astray. I'm not saying the fella there down um, at the mall that's dressed up like Santa Claus is going to do anything to the children that come and sit on his lap. I'm not saying he's going to do anything to them. Yeah, he may do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure, yeah, but that's not the point. That's not the point. They are mimicking someone who would really do something to them children. In fact, they are doing it. Who? Cronus? Cronus is not real. You don't understand what I'm saying. Cronus is not real. Krampus is not real. Odin is not real. None of them real. That's not the point. Their philosophy is real. Remember it. Eh? Not just Africans, even the Greeks and the Romans, when they create their philosophy, that's why the Greeks are known for philosophizing. When they create their theology, when they create their mythos, it's, it's something that they intend to implement on a statical level, on a governmental level. In many cases, on a churchical level too. So that is why these ideas are real because they have been crystallized in doctrines, in laws, in rules, in regulations, in human behavior, in characteristics now. Reality. Why do you think you have so many faggots coming up today? Come on, we tell me no foolishness. None of them cartoons. Bugs funny. Hmm? Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Why do you think they call her Minnie Mouse? I mean, it looks cute and neat and you miss it, but Minnie Mouse draws out a door. Huh? What do you think? Her underwear is clearly seen, but you miss it. Minnie Mouse in her mini skirt. We miss, we, you know, we, we miss it because it looks cute. What are you doing watching? What are you doing looking under the skirt of a mouse? What, 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 what kind of psychology is this? And it just comes down like it's just cute for us. Now we got to execute. What, what are he doing on the screen so long? So this is Cronus. Oh, Cronus is one of the main ingredients in Santa Claus. That's a fact, you know. That's not me saying this. Remember, Cronus is Saturn. Who doesn't know that? That's not me. I'm not making that up. Cronus is the father of Zeus. I'm not making that up. 
He's Saturn, Saturnalia, and everyone knows that Santa Claus is morphed off of that. You see, you got to keep in mind a lot of what we used to say um, 10, 12, 15 years ago. People used to say, oh, don't say that. It's not the truth. And now it's coming out. I'm not making this up. This is not my mystic revelation that Santa Claus is Cronus. I mean, you can read it in popular magazines now. The different ideas that morphed into Santa Claus. Odin is one of them. This fella that eats children is one of them. Look, I mean, come on. We know that. And everyone knows Santa Claus. Take the end and put it at the end. Satan Claus. Santa Claus is directly connected to children. But it's played off as this little innocent little thing. Go on. Sit on Santa's lap. Let me take a picture. Come on, don't cry. It's really Uncle Harry. Well, yeah, Uncle Harry may not do him anything. But, but, but. Don't make that fool you. That is not Uncle Harry. It's the idea. It's the psychology. This is much bigger than Uncle Harry. This is a system, an economical system that is, is bent on keeping the poor economically enslaved. This is economics. It, it, even those who say they're conscious are going to be digging in their pocket this December, trying to buy as much gifts as they can to keep people liking them. And you say you're in the conscious community. I'm not a gift hater, man. I give gifts all the time and get gifts. What are you talking about? And there's special times where you give gifts. What are you talking about? But I'm not bowing to Santa fraud and, and Xmas and these things. I believe in Thanksgiving. Of course, we should have a Thanksgiving day, but that doesn't mean that I am going to take my time and put it aside to sit in at the end of November or October or whenever it is they have Turkey Day to partake in that Thanksgiving Day when I know that Thanksgiving Day was designed designed off of um, the murdering of First Nation people. Mother's Day, of course we believe in Mother's Day. I have a good idea which day should be Mother's Day, but me, I am not following no Mother's Day. Nobody, Mother's Day, Father's Day, I don't back nobody talking about Happy Mother's Day. You can hate me all you want. That, that's your business. It only tells me that you're still a few steps behind. You know the origin of their Mother's Day. You know who their mother is. You know the mother that they are praising on Mother's Day. If you really knew it, you wouldn't be telling nobody no, no more um, um, Happy Mother's Day. You'd be so against it that you would take all the other days of the year and tell your mother's Happy Mother's Day. And then on that day, keep quiet because you, you just mean you don't want to be a part of the evil vibration that they're promoting. Yeah, that, that's how you got to think about these things. People vex with you because you burn in fire on their Father's Day and their Mother's Day. Fire. You keeping up Thanksgiving Day? Well, we should have a Thanksgiving Day, of course, but we ain't running, trying to line up with their stuff. Their, their stuff is from an evil origin. Their Christmas, their Thanksgiving Day, their Mother's Day, their Father's Day, any day that they talk about that sounds as if it's something good has an evil origin. They're praising these people here. What's wrong with us? Eh, eh. Hard passion, really, you know, but come on. Look at all of this wickedness. Cinder class. Buller class. Opening the bag. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> yeah, with his fish on his head. Hmm, looks like the Pope. What they into there? And he's with Krampus. The devil. That's who Santa Claus moves with. He must be still coming with Krampus. Look at this little boy here begging for his life. Because if he's not good, look what Krampus has in his hand. A pitchfork. What, what is he going to do to that little boy if the little boy is not nice? And Mr. Claus here has a, a broom in his hand that he used to whip the little boy. That's what you want our children to be caught up with. And the people are upset with I because we burn in fire and this foolishness. 
and highlighting it for what it really is. And we understand the psychological ramifications of this. When you grow up in this, when your parents pour this in your mind as if it's reality, and they themselves work their feet off to get you these gifts and then giving all of the, 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 uh, the accolades to a fairy tale, wicked character. No, man, we can't be standing for that. That's why we talk about the Santa Claus massacre. And the more I look at it, I think we went down nice on Santa fraud. Yeah, man, he need a lot more fire than what he get it. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs>